Hi everybody, I'm Dallas Rames, and welcome to the exciting world of speed and beauty. Stanley Wanless has been called one of the greatest automotive artists of this century. He translates his passion for automobiles into bronzes known as rolling sculptures. The love of automobiles can take many forms. For Stanley Wanless, that love takes the form of bronze sculptures. I believe that the automobile is the only new significant art form of this century, and the whole world has made a revolution, a whole change, because of this, this contraption. As a child, Stanley carved soap bars into cars. Art and automobiles are the pillars on which he has built his career. First as a teacher of art in the U.S. and Europe, and for the last 15 years as this country's leading artist of automobile sculpture. Well, I've always been interested in art, and uh, if I wasn't painting, I was always sculpt sculpting something. His vision of the automobile is a romantic and deeply personal one expressed in the names that he has given to his creations, like High Gear, Quicksilver. The titles to me uh, have to not say everything, but they need to open a door so that the viewer can participate and uh, maybe make it part of their own existence. I try to use names that, uh, that can establish uh, uh, either some kind of mystery or enigma or some kind of joy or edification. People are interesting, cars are interesting. You put them together and you get a synergetic thing happening. It's, uh, it's like uh, the one sculpture of Persang. It has a this beautiful girl and a beautiful car, and uh, uh, together, synergetically, they turn into this en enigma that uh, wouldn't happen if, if the car didn't have a driver or if the woman was standing out alone. Having meshed his love of automobiles with his love of art, he has made his work into a family affair. All his sculptures, from concept to completion, are undertaken in his home in the Wasatch Mountains in Utah. This striking and spacious 12,000 square foot house with its art lined walls and the antique Bugatti in the living room was designed and built with his wife Joy. It is in itself a work of art. It is in the library that Stanley begins the long meticulous process of turning his dreams into bronze. Once he has absorbed all there is to know about the car, he begins sketching his ideas on paper. Sometimes uh, I'll do a sketch, other times it'll just be so strong in my head, I'll just start out with the wax. The wax can be made very soft just by uh, spraying it with uh, an alcohol burner, get it warm. What used to be very hard now becomes very pliable. And then we will use this 6,000-year-old uh, uh, process called uh, the lost wax process 
to uh, cast this piece. It will be cut into uh, many pieces. For example, the driver will come out, uh, the steering wheel will be removed, the wheels, the springs, the, the tail, the dust. All of these small pieces will have to be removed and cast, uh, molded and then cast separately. Symbolism plays an important part in Stanley's work. Apart from the romantic aspects of automobiles, his work focuses on the glamour of speed, the fantasy world of children and cars, and the heroic and pioneering spirit of man and machine overcoming the odds. I have to have a passion for it. I can't have someone come in and say, you know, you ought to scope this car. It would really sell. I'm not really interested in selling them as much as I am in creating them. And uh, I can't create something that I don't have a passion for. Giving new life to history recapturing and representing the magic of those moments which have stirred his imagination and are now frozen for posterity in his impressive bronze statues. This is Stanley Wineless's contribution to the world of automobiles. I feel a great debt uh, to history, to those people that came before me that uh, were able to put the world in such a condition that I was able to create.